Black Ops 6 as a whole really has the potential to be a special game. So I've been in the COD community for about like almost five years now at this point and you know making videos on it for at least the last four and a half and I really think this game has the potential to be one of the best modern CODs that we've seen and I'm not just saying that because it's a new game and when I say the game I mean like every mode of it like the multiplayer is already like a masterpiece in my opinion and the zombies is yet to be seen you know there is some fair criticism for it but I think the movement alone can really change how, how this game like feels and plays. Because when it came to Cold War zombies, I wasn't, you know, the biggest into zombies up until I started playing Cold War. But when I did play it, I always felt like, you know, as a, a trained like military, military soldier that you should be able to, you know, hop over some railings, be able to move around a bit more than you could. It just felt like stuff was in place just to make it a bit more difficult. And I know some people do prefer that, but I like the immersion of basically being able to go wherever you want on the map and something like a, a staircase or a railing or a box isn't going to stand in your way. And I'm really excited to try out some things with Omni movement in zombies, especially with people. PhD because it's basically been confirmed that you can slide and dive with PhD when you have the augment for it and I'm not usually somebody that dives a whole lot in zombies like I prefer PhD slider over flopper but in this game with how much I've been diving I feel like PhD is just going to be such a useful perk and all the zombie stuff aside I feel like every few years there's a COD game that comes around and a lot of people outside of the COD bubble you know the COD community actually give it a shot the first one i remember and the one that got me back on the cod wagon was modern for 2019 that game just felt really good even though it had like a very poor like map selection it just dropped at the right time the movement felt good it felt like a classic cod game and then obviously with the lockdown and everything everybody's at home there's actually decent cod out and it really helped it i kind of feel like black ops 6 might be the next modern warfare 2019 in terms of like popularity because from what i've seen already from people that have actually like played the beta i've seen basically nothing but positive reception to the multiplayer yeah there's like critiques here and there but not stuff that couldn't be fixed or otherwise like made better for the experience to be greater because like i said i've been in the cod community for almost like five years now and it is a bubble and it's sometimes hard to see outside of that bubble and get the perspective of people that you know aren't as active or aware of the cod community and constantly consuming cod content like for me, I'm playing it every day. I'm seeing stuff on Twitter. I'm watching stuff on it. I'm always keeping up with like the, the latest thing with whatever this franchise is doing. And my group of friends isn't really the most involved in Call of Duty. You know, they'll, they'll look at things here and there, like see whatever pops up like on their feeds, but they're not actively going out and looking for it and consuming it. So I get to hear their opinions and see how uh, a more casual COD player views the franchise where it's at currently and all of them have been loving the beta not to mention that you can just play it like for free on game pass well i guess not free if you have game pass you don't have to spend the 70 dollars for the game but i feel like that alone can give this game like a big resurgence or, or a big boost in popularity like uh the lockdown did and just to kind of put it into perspective my friends have been very casual when it comes to cod you know we played modern warfare 2019 a lot together we played a bit of cold war uh they kind of stopped at vanguard then nw2 came out and they wanted to give that a try they played that and didn't like it and they completely wrote off mw3 which i feel like was the better of those two games which is completely fair i get it if you're not like too into this game or like cod games as a whole and you'll play it every now and again spending 70 dollars a year just to see if you like the current year's game probably isn't going to happen very often so they might just give it a shot every few years in this game they gave it a shot and they're loving it like i haven't had a day where me and all my friends are on playing cod in years or at least not consistently because twice now during this beta weekend i've like hopped on to play with them and i'm like all right you know i'll play for a, a few games here and then i'm gonna go try to get some work done or something and every single time we've hopped on and completely lost track of time like whenever we've we've hopped on to play i always think it's gonna be like for an hour or two and every single time it's been six hours minimum of just non-stop playing and it has been awesome the whole time and that is with this game 
or the beta right now only having limited modes, limited weapons, and a limited amount of levels you can get. So I really think we're sitting on something very special with this COD game. And I really hope that Treyarch can capitalize on it because as much as I'm saying we're enjoying all this with like limited content right now, people, especially in this day and age in games, they're going to get bored of the, the same stuff over and over again. Because I, I remember back in Modern Warfare 2019, I basically almost quit the game before I even got Damascus because I was just sick of, you know, playing on a Zir Cave in Piccadilly all the time. And all they did was add in Shoot House and I was right back in. So if Treyarch can even keep up like a, a percent of what Sledgehammer had done with Modern Warfare 3 in terms of like content where we're having like almost weekly events or even like bi-weekly events or just some level of like consistent and constant content for the game this is going to be a good year for COD and I know this game's probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea but I would definitely recommend on one of the free or like open beta weekends give this game a try because on the surface I didn't even really care about omni movement like I was like oh okay you know, that's just another way for me to get shit on. Like someone's going to do something crazy on me and I'm going to get pissed off, which, you know, has happened. It's definitely has happened. I've been getting shit on in this game quite a bit, but I also feel like I've been doing the shitting on. But I truly don't think I understood how like cool or, or like unique in, in how much it changed up Call of Duty with the Omni movement until I got my hands on it and started playing. Because I feel like just explaining it doesn't really do it justice. Like once you get in and you, you've played around with it for a little bit and kind of got used to it, it's so much fun. Like I, I, in a lot of the marketing and stuff for it, they've they've uh, like alluded to like action heroes or action movies when uh, explaining the Omni movement and they hit it out of the park with that. That is the perfect way to explain the Omni movement because you can go flying around, you can go for stupid stuff like if you don't think you're that great at the game, maybe you can just try to do some like diving spin trick shot or whatever that you're going to try a million times and maybe only hit once. But that one time you hit it, it'll be worth it. And it's not even just that. It's just like the, the subtle things they're adding in because, you know, COD is the same thing every year to a lot of people outside of... Uh, you know the the cod bubble where they don't really see or care too much about like the differences added in but for this game adding that in and adding in like the gears of war meat shield is like game changing it, it changes everything just enough for it to be different but the same like i think the last time we saw like a crazy gameplay change like this or or something as significant was like bo4 where it was like a, a character shooter mainly where each operator or whatever had their own different uh like powers or special abilities that they could use and some people liked it I, I enjoyed some of the abilities that they could use but for the most part i didn't get back into it and i feel like that was the the first cod that i tried again after cod world war ii back when i was still like pretty casual at cod and that really didn't sink its teeth in it's kind of similar to when they added in like, I don't know, like wall running or, or any sort of boots off the ground type COD. It just felt a bit too different for a lot of more casual people to come back and play it. But this with the Omni movement, I feel like a lot of people that aren't playing COD as much or just play it very, very casually, hop it on here. They can pick up Omni movement a bit more than they would pick up wall running or jetpacks or trying to try out each individual character to see what abilities they like more. Because you really don't need to do anything special for it. You just hop on and you can run and then all of a sudden you figure out, oh shit, I can dive to the side. Oh shit, I can slide to the side. I can dive backwards. I can slide backwards. And it might take a little bit to get the hang of, but it's not something like impossible for people that don't play the game all the time. And I'm not trying to just sit here and like throw COD. I'm no Activision shill. I've given plenty of criticism in the past. I will still continue to give them plenty of criti criticism where I see fit. And I always try to give you guys my open and honest opinion on whatever I'm playing, whatever I'm doing, and what changes I think should happen and what... I, I think is going right. Like if I'm gonna like shit on Vanguard or whatever, I can still give them their flowers where it's due. Like I, I can criticize, but I can also be like, you know what, this is cool too. And I think a lot of people that are not really liking the game, just looking at it, like if they haven't touched it yet, I feel like it's gonna be like Squidward trying a, a Krabby Patty for the first time for a good amount of them. Cause I wasn't even too sure like I was gonna play a whole lot of the beta. 
You know, the last few years, it's like, oh, it's just a multiplayer beta. I'll just hop on, play it for a bit. You know, see how the guns are feeling, see what the maps are like. You know, just give it a little taste and then go do my own thing back on the, the current game. But I have not really been able to stop playing this beta. I've been constantly on here playing for hours and hours and hours and having a blast the whole time, whether I'm, I'm playing well or not. Well, actually, when I'm, I'm not playing very well, then, you know, I might hop off a little sooner. But from what I've come to gather from playing this beta this weekend is that it takes me about six hours, four to six hours of playing to get warmed up and feel like uh, I'm doing well enough. But that's just me. I, I'm just pretty rusty when it comes to multiplayer. But I, I'm, I'm shaking the rust off. I feel like I'm getting there. This might be the game that I dropped my first ever nuke in a Call of Duty. I've been close. I've knocked at the door a few times, but I've never reached the, the promised land, so to speak. Wait, hold that, hold that thought. Bye bye. Bye bye. Actually, I think mogging on them made me lose my train of thought. But what I really just want to say is that this is a fun game. I feel like it's made with fun in mind and not like, I don't know, a, a game like MW2, the most recent one, where it's just like, we have a certain way we want you guys to play the game. And if you don't, you'll be like punished in terms of like, you know, building a weapon, for example, for, for this game, you can build your weapon basically however you want. And almost every single attachment has like little to no debuffs on it. Like there is basically no cons to using anything on these weapons. They want you to move around and go crazy with the new movement and try out these new weapons. Like I've only really seen some attachments that maybe lower like reload speed or like a little bit of sprint to fire speed, but you can basically make any gun as fast as you want it to be with like basically no downsides to it at all. And there's basically like a little to no movement penalties just in general, unless like you're diving or whatever, like you have to take a second after you land to be able to do something. And it just feels nice that you can hop in and not have to like keep up with some insane movement tech, like trying to slide cancel to keep up with other people's speeds or whatever. And I've already seen like a lot of people just posting clips of either them like going crazy, hitting some nasty clips or just having fun with like the prox chat and everything, especially with the, the meat shields that I've been seeing. I, I, like there's that clip going around of the the guy grabbing two people or, or two people grabbing people from the other team and f making them kiss, like pushing them together. Or I've seen somebody grab somebody as a body shield on this map and bring them on into the shower and say they're bringing the sweats to the shower. It just really feels like COD is back and I'm I'm so here for it. I'm so down for it. And I feel like it couldn't happen to a, a better developer. Like Treyarch has had to work on basically like every single game the last few years. They haven't really had a whole lot of time to work on their own games. They made Cold War basically during lockdown in a rush after they took over for Sledgehammer who was supposed to have the game that year. And that game st still turned out pretty good. Like that's one of my favorite COD games of all time. If not like just my favorite zombies game, definitely one of my favorite multiplayer games. And them having four full years to work on this and the beta is already this good. I feel like when the full game comes out, we're gonna be really surprised by the rest of the content they haven't shown us yet. But after I've been doing tricks on it and, and getting it all nice and creamy, uh, I, I got some criticism I, I wanna put out there. I did say in the last video that I really did not like the weapon leveling in this game. It felt extremely slow and uh, the devs apparently agreed and they said that the weapon levels were unintentionally slow in this first weekend of the beta. So next weekend, it looks like they're going to be getting a buff to the weapon XP rates, which is nice. I, I hope, uh, you know, in the next weekend, it actually goes up relatively quickly because a lot of these guns have a decent amount of levels. There's like 43 weapon levels on a lot of the weapons that I've uh, tried out so far, which don't seem like that much, but the last two years, I think the highest weapon levels we've seen is like 22. So it's, it's like almost double than what we've gotten used to in the recent past. But when I was going through and listing my complaints in, in the last video, like all my gripes with the game, I wasn't even really thinking about the actual like performance of the game because I've been playing COD so long and so often the last few years that 
I feel like I've kind of gotten like numb or desensitized to a lot of the issues that current COD has. But I feel like the issue that I've been like the most desensitized to is packet burst. Uh, there has not been a day where I've played COD in at least the last two years where I haven't seen the packet burst icon show up on my screen unless I just somehow had it disabled because every single game I've played of like Modern Warfare Zombies and even here in the beta, packet bursts just show up constantly. It hasn't been that big of a deal in the beta, at least in, in terms of like, it hasn't affected me too much from me playing. But when it does happen, like right now, it's happening. But it seems to be the worst whenever I'm like fighting somebody that just came around a corner and I'm in the middle of like, you know, fighting for my life and all of a sudden a packet burst hits real bad and it skips from right when I start fighting them to me just being dead on the ground. Which is the most annoying thing. But something I didn't even think about because I'm so used to doing it is that this game is just annoying as hell to even launch. Like right now, since Modern Warfare 3 is the current game, that is the one that like basically opens up when you open up like COD HQ. So say you have an update and you want to go hop on the beta. So first you have to update COD HQ, which is basically like updating MW3. So you have to wait for that. You launch it and then, oh, update requires restart. You restart, go back, bring COD HQ back up. Then you're like, all right, fine. Uh, let me open up the Black Ops 6 beta. And then you open up the beta and then, oh, update requires restart on that too. I don't know why it's a thing. I haven't ran into really any games besides COD that has that feature and it's Definitely something with the Modern Warfare engine. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, you know, I know programming. I know about like game development and shit, but I feel like th there could have been something to be avoided there. So that's not an issue because that's like the main complaint I've heard from a lot of my friends trying to hop on the game. Like we're like, oh, should we start a game? Or are you getting on? Should we wait for you? And they're like, oh no, we're hopping on right now. And then it takes about like seven minutes minimum like hopping on update requires restart the game's got to close itself reopen and then a second update requires restart it's just annoying it's just a, a little thing that i feel like shouldn't even be there but i feel like if there was a way for them to fix it they probably would have done it but something's gotta happen with it if they tried to fix it where it would just fuck a bunch of other things up so I guess I'll deal with it, but I'm not happy about it. And there's probably some obvious criticism that I, I, I can't think of right now. I'm being blinded by the, you know, the new game smell on this beta, but I'm just having a lot of fun with it. I think it looks really good. It plays really good. Uh, it feels really good to play. And I just cannot wait for the full game to come out. Like them doing the separate beta weekends. I'm not the biggest fan of having to wait like the whole week to come back and play this because it's going to feel weird going back to any COD game that don't have this kind of movement. But it is kind of a smart marketing choice because I will be sitting at home, you know, playing whatever other COD game, just waiting for the beta to come back and then waiting for the next weekend of the beta to come. And then once that's all over, we have basically an entire month until the full game comes out. And that's going to feel like the longest month ever. But anyways, I've been doing a lot of yap and I just want to say I think this game is really fun and I think we're in for a good year of COD. And if you haven't played it already, give it a chance. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate our love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.